components of forces in space we have uh, a force which is acting in space more precisely the this particular force is having angles with x y and z axis as in a case of uh, raising a slab using say crane using a crane so these three points these four points are connected using cables to this crane and it will be raised up so the force acting or coming on this will be will be having angles with the x axis with the say y axis and z axis also if this is x and this is y and this is z so all these axis or, or the force is having an angle with the x axis y axis and z axis so in this case we need to consider the force in space force in space so if a force f is there this can be represented as a vector using this notation f with a arrow on top of it any quantity can be represented as a vector using this thing this arrow so this vector will have both magnitude and direction both aspect will be there for this force so for you know force is a vector so it should have a magnitude and a direction then the force vector f in three dimensions can be represented as fx plus fy plus fz where these fx fy fz with these arrows are called the vector components of this force along x y and z directions if these are x y and z components then if there is a force f like this then it will have a component along x it will have a component along y it will have a component along z so they are fx fy and fz as the forces are along x y and z if we consider unit vectors along x i along y j along z k then these forces can be expressed as vectors fx fy fz where fx is the magnitude of the, the component of the force f along x axis with the, the direction as that of the unit vector i similarly fy fy is a vector having magnitude fy with direction along that of the unit vector j or along the y axis and similarly f z also then let's theta x theta y and theta z are the angles made with the x y and z axis then the component along x the comp the magnitude of the component along x that is fx can be written as fx equal to f into cos theta x f into cosine of theta x that is the angle made by the force f with the x axis fx equal to f cos theta x fy 
equal to f into cos theta y and f is at equal to f into cos theta z. Okay. So, these are the magnitudes of component of the force f along x, y and z directions. These are magnitudes. Magnitudes. Now, how to find out the direction because we know force has both magnitude and direction. So, we have to specify the direction of these components also. So, if you specify the direction of the component fx, then it will be a vector and it should be equal to fx into i where fx is the component of the magnitude of f along x-axis and i is the unique vector along x-axis. You know, uh, i is having a magnitude of 1. The length will be 1 unit. Length will be just a 1 unit. Okay. So, it is fx into i. Therefore, it is equal to f into cos theta x into i. f cos theta x into i. Similarly, what will be f y? Vector component of f along y axis f y is equal to f y into j. That is equal to f y uh, sorry, or, or, or f cos theta y into j. And also f is at equal to vector component f is at equal to f is at into k and that is equal to f into cos theta z into k. So, these are the comp vector components of fx. Uh, f fx equal to f cos theta x into i, f y is equal to f cos theta y into j and f z equal to f cos theta z into k where i, j, k are the unit vectors along x, y and z axis. Okay. So, f can be written as, so f can be, vector f can be written as fx into i plus fy into j plus fz into k. Okay, where fx into i is the vector component, say this one, fx into i is the vector component of the force along x, fy into j is the vector component along y, fz into k is the vector component along z. Okay. Now, that can be written as f is equal to f cos theta x into i plus f cos theta y into j plus f cos theta z into k. Then, the magnitude of f is given by magnitude of f is given by f and that is equal to square root of fx square plus fy square plus fz square fx square plus fy square plus fz square 